New stories like the one I'm about to share with you regarding gold are more than likely to become more commonplace. And in this particular one, it is making history. So let's explore. It is making history in Hong Kong. Now, as I discover these stories, I'm going to bring them to you. It's what I do on this channel. I have a playlist of precious metals crimes. And this one is a doozy. I found this hours ago and I wanted to share it with you. Of course, like many other stories like this, when I make a discovery, sometimes, I, many times, often you, the viewer, will email me a link to the same story. That's what happened here. Gold Bear Bunny sent me a link to this too. But many of my viewers help keep me informed too. They find things that I miss. But this is quite fascinating. This is about Hong Kong and how have they have made the largest ever gold smuggling bust. This is huge news and it's quite appropriate considering that gold prices have reached all time highs. Hong Kong makes largest ever gold smuggling bust according to the BBC. Hong Kong authorities have made the city's largest ever gold smuggling bust, seizing 146 kilograms of the precious metal. You'll never guess what it was disguised in. That's right. Usually what happens is gold is smuggled in a various different forms. We've seen it. And I've covered on this channel how it was smuggled in, as uh, created and cast into screws. How... In the past, we've seen gold smuggled actually within wigs. That's right, in hair. They actually put it in, in wigs and very discreetly and cleverly place it on their head. Gold has been disguised in many different ways in form of powder, uh, even putty gold is. It's a pretty amazing that they're able to find and discover and see exactly where a gold is. Well, how can they do this? Well, luckily they have sensors that can get the very unique properties that gold has. But in this case, they were smuggled inside of machine parts. The hull is estimated to be worth more than $10 million and was intercepted last month en route to Japan. A 31-year-old man has been arrested and released on bail pending further investigations. Smuggling is a serious offense and carries up to seven years in jail under Hong Kong law. Custom officials say they made the discovery while examining two air compressors departing in a cargo shipment to Japan on the 27th of March, which drew suspicions due to their unusual texture and weight. Indeed. And in fact, the pictures that they show here do not really give much detail. They just look like machine, they just look like compressors, and, and there are some that are gold colored. And likely that's what it was because, you know, some of these things, well, they could be, be passed off as brass. So maybe the sensors didn't catch it. Uh, and so they just noticed their unusual texture and, of course, weight. Gold, as you know, is a very dense metal. And so when you have gold that is smuggled into different machine parts and you weigh them, well, it's not going to match the weight of a standard part, especially if there's a considerable amount of gold, much as we see here. 146 kilograms is a lot of gold to smuggle. No question about it. Um, and uh, so to see that is pretty, pretty amazing. By the way, if you enjoy content like this where I bring you the latest news and analysis on precious metals, I hope you will consider pressing that like button down below and subscribing to the channel if you find value in the content that I provide here. So an examination ultimately found both were riddled with gold and that had been uh, molded and camouflaged into parts such as gears, screws, and motor cores, according to government statement on Monday. And I tell you what, according to this picture, which again, is not very revealing. It doesn't really show you uh, exactly how this is laid out. This story is kind of breaking, so likely the Hong, gov Hong Kong government provided these pictures. Maybe more will be coming down the road, but this is all we have so far. And... Uh, you know, the pieces look obvious gold in the one part that I can see, but you would think, well, if they're going to mold them into gold, you think they would paint them, maybe paint them a silvery color. Uh, and then, you know, and then they wouldn't be quite as suspicious. They would just look at them and go on. But apparently they had had a closer look and found them and, 
and see that their unusual texture and weight showed that. That's pretty amazing. Authorities have suggested a crime syndicate looking to evade taxes in Japan may have been behind this operation. Um, Hong Kong is one of the world's largest gold trading hubs and prices of the commodity have been rising amid geopolitical uncertainty. And so that is, it is something else and that's for sure. And you know, when you see things like this and gold's price rise to the dramatic levels that we know, well, that, you know, that's, uh, that we've seen lately. And you're gonna see more precious metal crimes out there, no question. And this is just another example of it. I have a whole playlist of these, by the way, and I'm gonna put this video in that playlist. It's called Precious Metals Crimes. But it's kind of interesting as I've researched and done videos about these topics, about these thefts, uh, how clever some of these people can get. And this is the first time we've seen them actually disguised in machine parts. That's, a, that's an unusual one. Um, you know, the, but you know, again, if, you, if they are run through sensors, luckily they could probably pick, pick that out. And of course, some of these gears too, probably are inside other casings, which makes them difficult. But the one piece that I'm showing on the, that I'm looking at in this image, uh, was likely exposed and enough to cause question. And uh, they should have just painted it, painted it silver, see what happened. But, you know, gold has been, uh, cast and formed into many different types of objects for sure and is the most ductile and, and malleable metal out there and so uh, you can really do a lot of work with it to make it shape into pretty much anything your heart desires uh, in fact you can even buy gold in various different shapes if you want um, and i actually did that and posted a video about it with the world's uh, most valuable guitar pick most expensive guitar pick, uh, there it is, made of 24 karat gold from Manet. Uh, now, if I wanted to smuggle gold, uh, I might be able to easily do this if they didn't have that scanner. I could just paint this thing. I probably I may, even, may even not need to paint it. I could just, uh, you know, I don't know. I could just uh, carry it with me. Of course, the Manet logo in 24K would need to be covered up in some way. But I could put a couple stickers on this thing of a band logo or just of some sort of thing and a grip tape on it. And uh, I probably would be good to go. This thing definitely is 24 karat gold. It weighs just over a half ounce. And uh, so yeah, this is probably one of other many ways that gold could be smuggled if, if need be. And to get it through, of course, we also know that you can travel through customs with gold jewelry and I don't think it's treated the same. I think mostly it is. That's why you're seeing more and more gold jewelry, such as what Manet offers, but also um, just regular 18 karat, 14 karat, 22 karat, if so be, 18 karat gold jewelry. But there are bullion versions of them that are 24 karat gold, and you can buy them not just there, but also on many bullion dealer websites will have gold jewelry. And you're really not smuggling that in that way, right? Obviously, you bring a bunch of gold coins like this through the uh, through customs. Well, they'll go into question and you will get taxed for them. But it just goes to show you what people are going to do, especially considering the high price of gold, which means the taxes are going to be higher in nominal dollars. And with inflation affecting most countries around the world, more than likely, uh, it's going to be a tough, tougher pill to swallow, which is why people engage in trying to avoid it using criminal activity. Uh, such as I know in this case, but this is big news. It is the largest gold bust ever in Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, I think that's just kind of a wake up call for us. Now, remember crime syndicate involved and some people feel that was the case whenever the Bode Museum was robbed or burglarized of the, of the uh, 200 kilogram uh, Canadian maple leaf gold coin there. It was quite something. Uh, to see, of course, that was chopped up, melted down, never to be returned. This type of gold was smuggled just because of its value into gear, screws, and motor cores. And likely that gold, if it were to be successfully smuggled, would have been reconstituted into bars uh, down the road in Japan. So very interesting indeed. Um, let me know what your thoughts are about the story. I've always found it quite interesting and fascinating uh, to see, he read about gold and and various different ways and clever ways people can, um, you know, smuggle it or steal it, um, various different ways. 
So I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.